Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean, and I'm looking forward to guiding you through today's Mind Body Express class, where we're just going to work on letting it go. Restart in one minute. I know, already a little, a little tense, because I like to usually give you some time to get to your mat, and I, I didn't get to create that opportunity today. And that's okay. So we're gonna lay down in just a minute and we're going to work on really letting it all go. Oh no, I'm gonna turn off the air conditioning because I'm a kind lady. Don't forget that about me. <laughs> um, it's gonna get real hot in here. So let's come on down, lay down on your mat. We're gonna start in Savasana, and then we're gonna we're gonna do some different stuff today. Ah. But one thing that we're going to do, as per usual, is really tune the focus in towards our breath. We're gonna try a couple like Kundalini yoga moves. So we're gonna also practice a little bit more with the breath of fire, uh, and then we're gonna finish with. Kapal Bhate breathing even. At least that's what I wrote down and intend for us to do. All right, so right now you're just laying down on your mat. If you're feeling uncomfortable in any way with your legs straight to begin with, take a little bend of your knees, but work towards straightening those legs out if possible. Relax your shoulders, relax the back of your head and take this time to just Notice how you're feeling today, not just how you're feeling physically, because I'm sure you noticed that already, but give yourself the opportunity to notice how you're feeling mentally. Are you feeling happy and hopeful? Are you feeling stressed or tense? Maybe you're feeling angry about something or concerned. These are all completely valid feelings. And I want you to just honor them. Just notice, be like, yeah. <laughs> you can even say it out loud because you shouldn't be ashamed of your feelings. On the count of three, let's all say how we're feeling, okay? One, two, three. I'm feeling really hopeful. All right, I hope that you actually called something out and <laughs> that it felt good, even if it made you laugh at yourself, even if you were trying to feel angry and it made you giggle, that's totally okay. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of ab engagement here. I know, something I don't usually uh, make you do in yoga. And, then, and we're gonna do some leg raises, but we're gonna do leg raises one at a time, and then I'm gonna invite you to bring your leg all the way back down towards the floor. So there's gonna be a little bit of lower ab work to really lift that leg up. Focus with your breath to inhale on your lift and point your toe as much as you can as your leg lifts up and then exhale on the way down. And remember, you can have your thumbs right here under your bum with your arms on the floor and even opening the chest and pressing the shoulders in to help you find that engagement because we're gonna work here for about two minutes. Two minutes nice and slow at your own pace. Are you ready? So plant your arms on the floor however you need to. Draw that lower belly in. Feel free to close your eyes, relax the back of your head down. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And notice the pace that you're moving. Maybe you're starting off and you only notice about a two second lift and lower, but I want you to challenge yourself to see if you can elongate your breath. So inhale, lift, try and slow it down. Exhale, lower. Other leg. If you notice that your lower back is really smarting on you or if pressing the back of your opposite heel into the floor as you find a little 
um, stability to lift and lower that leg is firing up those hamstrings a little too much for you. As always, you can bend those knees if you need to, taking a slight bend of the knee, planting your foot down on the floor and still work to lift and lower, and then switch. We got one minute left right here. Can you make those inhales in through your nose? And you can exhale out through your mouth. And feel free to allow it to be audible. Your breath, your moment right here. Now I want you to go ahead and bend both of your knees. Everyone bend your knees. Maybe you windshield wipe just for a moment to really relax that back on the floor. Re-glue your lower back down towards the mat and bring your fingers up by your head. If you want to, you can always make a little um, pillow with your hands. However, a lot of times when we make this pillow with our hands, because you know we're about to do some more crunches, you tend to really use your hands to pull on your head, and I don't want you to do that. So maybe you just place your fingers at your shoulders, or I like to make a knuckle and place it by my ears, and that way I can still find that big opening of the chest. Take a moment and really glue that lower back down. So you might need to take a tilt of your pelvis, a little anterior tilt, so that your hips come up just a little bit. Lower back is gonna stay down on the floor, we're gonna keep that breath nice and slow this time. We're going to inhale and lift for a count of six and exhale and slowly lower down. All right, here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Keep drawing that lower belly in. Actually, let's exhale on the way up. I'm sorry. Exhale. Think about drawing those lower ribs in towards each other, keeping that chin neutral towards your chest and your eye gaze just at the tip of your nose. One more minute right here. Make sure you're still working in this six second count. And you're still breathing because at this point even I'm confused why I went to breathe, mostly because I'm talking also. Just working to challenge those abs a little bit. I know you probably, like me, have been sitting at your desk for a little while today. And maybe that belly has just been hanging out, not really engaged while you're hunched over at the computer. So bring in just a little bit of love to that core. It's gonna help that lower back continue to feel good, strong, stable. Go ahead, get your last slow crunch. Awesome. Take your time. Roll over to whichever side you would like. Hang out for just a moment in a fetal position. And then press yourself up. And come to an easy seated position of your choice. Here we are in Sukhasana. Remember every day is different. I fell while I was watering the garden this morning. I didn't really fall, but I definitely hurt myself a little. It is what it is. So, 
just because you did something yesterday or you're gonna have the strength and flexibility to do something tomorrow does not mean that all of those things have to happen right this moment. So find what feels good for your body today. I'm gonna come into a slightly, I'm gonna change out my seating position. Ah, oh, that feels like heaven. Remember, if you're sitting all the way down and your knees are really drawn up towards your shoulders, even if you don't think you need it, treat yourself to lifting yourself up on a prop and be amazed at how much more open your hips are if you can't already get the outsides of the knees close towards the floor. All right, so here we are in Sukhasana. I want you to just take a moment, lift your heart, stretch through the crown of your head. A nice lifted heart and spine and keep that belly gently drawn in. Like we just practiced when you were laying down on the floor, so belly button still towards spine. Up to you, just find a place to relax your hands to begin with. And let's take three big breaths here while we're sitting upright. And I want you to make a nice, loud, noticeable exhale. So long, slow, deep inhale in through your nose. Open your mouth. Feel free to close your eyes. We're just breathing, inhale. Exhale, get it all out. One more time, make that breath really slow. Inhale. And when you're ready, open your mouth. Yay! All right. Bring your hands, palms down onto your knees now. We're going to go for a little seated cat and cow, so feel free to apply some pressure of your hands, palms towards your shin. As you tuck towards your, your chin, towards your chest, find your rounding in your lower back. And then inhale, draw your chest forward. Maybe bend your elbows. Keep your sit bones down towards the floor or whatever you're sitting on and find the arch in your lower back. Change. So once again, as you change your breath, change the stretch. Feel free to still keep that exhale audible. Focus on really just letting go. And for whatever reason, sometimes hearing my breath helps me to just really think about, you know, like the sounds that you make when you're like, yeah, right, no thanks, that doesn't work for me. Like letting it go, just let it go. All right, now we're gonna go for some circles here. So take about five circles in one direction. Think about starting to create a little bit um, more movement within those shoulders. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get to those shoulders. Next, we're gonna, we're slowly kind of working our way up. All right, once you've gotten about five circles in one direction, get ready to switch direction of your circles. Get about five in that opposite direction, not rolling onto the shin, so still working to keep those sit bones down, just getting a little more into the side body. Starting to wake those shoulders up. All right, get your last circle. Inhale, lift up your chest again, stretch those fingers all the way up towards the ceiling. Just take a moment, stretching up, finding a little bit more length, make sure the length is coming from your waist, not just shoulders stretching up towards your ears. In fact, bring your fingers down to your shoulders. Keep those elbows open nice and wide. We're gonna find some twists through our shoulders. I'm gonna change my seated position to be a little more comfortable. But we're gonna find our twist with our breath. So inhale to one direction, still with this big lift, so it's not a deep twist. And then exhale to the opposite direction. Ready? This is gonna be a little bit of a faster breath or as fast as you feel good about twisting. So start a little slow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, belly in.
one. Come back to center, relax those hands down. Ooh, feel free to give yourself a couple rolls through those shoulders right here. Change direction. Pardon me of those shoulder rolls. Start to slow your breath down again. Just created a little extra warmth in our body. Still grounding through the sit bones and a lift of that chest and heart. Opening of it, engagement of the shoulders. Chin is neutral for the moment. Find a spot to just relax your focus, your drishti in the space ahead of you. Or maybe even close your eyes and just trust yourself. These next couple moves are very simple. You can do them with your eyes closed. We're gonna go for some some neck circles. So within whatever range of motion works for you, a couple times around in one direction, feel free to start as small or as large as feels appropriate for your body today. Ooh, I'm feeling a lot of crunching and cracking towards the back of my neck. If you're feeling any particular Tightness though, while you're giving the circles, maybe you hang out for a second in an extra spot. Maybe you even bring a hand up towards your neck to add a little bit more warmth, a little bit of pressure and self myofascial release to help you feel good. Let's get two more times around in this direction. And then we're gonna change direction of those neck circles. So as your chin comes to your ch chest, oh my gosh, words. Go ahead, change direction. Notice that those shoulders are starting to crunch up again as well. First, come back to that lifted length and then find the range of motion that works for you. So maybe instead of focusing on a big neck circle, you're creating circles with the tip of your nose, still getting your neck involved and eliminating a little bit of the, the backward rounding, which I feel like for me, that's one of my tighter spots and that's when my shoulders start to rise up to protect myself well, because I am so tight and crunchy. But remember, you can bring a hand up to help you massage out those spots if you feel them. Go around a couple more times. Take three more slow breaths. And the next time your chin comes towards your chest, give yourself a couple head nods. Can you find a little stretch in your neck as well? So work to get that stretch in the front of the neck. Maybe you jut your chin forward a little bit. Bring your lower teeth forward. Still with this big lift of the chest and that engagement of the lower ribs, they're hugging in towards each other. All right, this time switch it to giving yourself some, some nose, turning your chin from one shoulder to the other. towards the end of our seated practice for today. But before we do, I want you to bring your hands palms together at your chest. Allow your elbows to hang heavy down by your sides. No need to bring your hands palms in line with your shoulders. You can still spread those fingers really wide though. Thumb touching on your sternum. Take a moment with your chin up, lifted belly tight. Come back to how you're feeling today. Because remember, it's okay. You don't always have to change your mood unless you want to. If you want to change your mental channel, using your breath now is the perfect time. But if you are in a place where you want to be, I'm feeling good in this hopeful space. But you know, some days you're angry and you just, it's fine. You want to be angry. Just let me be angry for a little bit. Like, get through it. But if you don't want to be angry or sad or unhappy, use your breath to, to take this time right now to maybe focus on one good thing, even if that good thing is, again, letting yourself be angry. All right, tuck your chin to your chest. Get that big stretch on the upper back. Find as deep of a tuck as feels good for you while still creating that length.
Then begin to release your hands down to the floor. Let's come up into tabletop. And as you get there, give yourself a couple cat cows. Rawr! Five, five, oh no, timer. Find what feels good for you today. This class is flying by. I don't know how you feel. I think it's so interesting that some days yoga feels like, you know, you sat down and it was just a minute. And like 45 minutes go by. Granted, this is just a 30 minute class, so don't worry, we've got 10 minutes left. But there are other days when I sit down on my mat and it's like, oh my God, what have I been here, like nine hours? But we get through it together. All right, go ahead, tuck your toes under. We're gonna send our hips up towards the ceiling and breathe it out here in down dog. Go ahead, walk the dog, so press through your heels one then the other give some love to your calves remember you can keep a generous bend towards your knees we just got a short practice today so think of this down dog uh, as a recovery posture and it can feel that way a little bit more if you separate your hands a little bit wider or maybe even separate your feet a little bit more to be a more stable base continue to just pedal through those heels either both together Oof. Ooh, sorry I'm sorry ankle maybe one at a time and then when you're ready walk your feet up to your hands come to the top of your mat we're gonna hang out here in a dangle so feel free to generously bend your knees if you have a prop nearby and the floor is far away you can place your hand on the prop you can grab hold of your opposite elbow and let gravity do the work you can place your hand on your um, legs if you want to we're just gonna rock it out gently here so maybe if you grab hold of your opposite elbow like you're swinging a swing get a little bit more into that side body just rocking it out all right slowly gently let's bend those knees shift the weight to your heels inhale lift yourself up Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Turn your hands, palms forward. Take a moment right here in mountain pose. Your feet should still be separated about hips width or maybe even shoulders width distance apart. Take any overarching out of your back. So you might need to gently squeeze your glutes and press your hips forward, especially if you find that you tend to stick your bum out. Came so cool in like the 90s and like it's not cool it's not good for us okay so next we're gonna do uh, one of my one of my favorites to just let it go I call it banging the drum so again coming into the idea of a little kundalini yoga practice you can feel free to close your eyes for this one you can have your hands open or you can make a gentle fist with yourself but we're once again going to use our breath to inhale in one direction Exhale in the opposite direction. So really the pace that you're moving is up to you. We're just going to gently twist here. Find what feels good. Go to the depth that feels good for you. No pressure to find a super big spine twist. We're going to hang out here for a total of two minutes. So think about keeping your feet planted. Feet are not moving. The movement is happening in a rotation of your, of your waist and the core. So keep that belly in. Still plenty of room to breathe. minute left stick with it <laughs> smile if you need to 
Embrace your inner weirdo here. Keep that belly drawn in. I know, sometimes it's like, what are we doing? Just keep doing it. You're worth it. It's got a meaning. right here for three, two, one. Come back to your mountain pose stillness at the front. Turn those hands palms forward to gain all of the energy to help you open that chest just a little bit. Press your feet into the floor equally grounding through all of your feet. Go ahead, inhale your arms all the way up overhead. Bring your hands palms together. Interlace your fingers, release index fingers, thumbs crossed. You can keep your feet right where they are, grounded. I'm just taking a little wiggle through them to make sure that I can properly ground those feet to the floor. Not rolling to the outer or inner edges. Squeeze your glutes, hips come forward. Open your chest, upper body comes back just a little bit. Relax your shoulders from your ears, but can you bring your biceps as close to your ears as possible? Take a deep inhale, lift up from the waist, and on your exhale, lean over to one side. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, lean over to the other side. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, you can release your hands, rain yourself down towards the floor. Inhale into a big half lift. Exhale down into your forward fold. Plant your hands firmly down on the floor. Go ahead, step one leg back at a time. Take a little rocking right here. Inhale those hips up towards the ceiling. Once more, pedal through your heels and down dog. Oh, so good. Go ahead, release your knees down towards the floor. Uh, untuck your toes, sit yourself up in kneeling position. If kneeling position is super hard for you, you can always use that prop uh, to sit yourself up, but I really encourage you, if you can, to sit down on your knees. If you cannot kneel, go ahead, come back into a cross-legged position. If you're kneeling, you're gonna place your hands on your thighs. If you're sitting cross-legged, you're going to keep your hands at the floor by your side. Your arms are going to be locked, so your arms are straight in either position, but your belly is relaxed. So you can really let your belly hang out. You're gonna take a deep inhale and make a forceful exhale, and then your exhale is gonna happen automatically. It's gonna look and sound like this, taking a deep inhale, exhale, to make a sharp draw in with your belly. All right, I'm going to use my hands to help us clap. We're going to do 60 of them nice and slow, 60 of them nice and fast. This is called Kapalbhati breathing, skull polishing breath. It is a great activity to do at the end of a yoga practice, at the end of any workout, especially on a really hot day. It's supposed to help you get all of the hot, gross, whatever, breath and air out of you. And then you can lay down for a savasana or just take a couple moments before you stand back up and move on and do your thing. All right, so hand palms either on your thighs or on the floor. Arms are engaged, but belly is relaxed. Relax your shoulders. Find one spot to focus your eyes. Take a deep inhale and then exhale. Lick your lips a couple of times, roll your shoulders if you need to. Second set's gonna be just a little bit faster. Go ahead, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Four, three, 
three, two, one. Feel free to turn around, lay down on your back, take a little savasana, or maybe you just take a couple moments here. Seated, come back to your regular breath. As your breath slows back down, ask yourself how your mind and your body are feeling now that we've made it to the end of practice. Do you feel different? Do you feel better? Do you feel worse? Once again, just be honest with yourself because whatever you're feeling is totally okay. That's all the time that we have for today. If y'all have any questions or concerns about anything that I said or we did today, I hope that you'll reach out. If you have two to three minutes and you can lay down on your back to really just sink into corpse pose and allow today's practice to sink in and continue just enjoy your thoughts and feelings, whatever they may be, then I encourage you to take that time for yourself. Till we see each other again, think good thoughts, speak good words, eat good foods, do good deeds, and take that time to nourish yourself from the inside out. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.